So we ended up meeting over at Kenny and Heather's wedding. Uh, she was a maid of honor. I was best man. Uh, we met the day before the wedding at the um, rehearsal dinner, and uh, we were tying the bows on the pews, and it was a like, love at first sight. <laughs> Me and Heather, you know, we were so busy at our wedding, we didn't have a clue what was going on. So when we got all done, it was nice to just get to the hotel, you know, open cards and relax for a little bit. So we started going through the photo booth pictures and you know we get to like the last page they're crazy pictures and we just start seeing Josh and Tiff after Josh and Tiff and I'm like they're not even dating she had a date at the party like like this is kind of weird and sure enough we came home and they were like dating so it worked out very well we'd like to welcome you this afternoon to the wedding of Joshua Curtis and Tiffany Hastings. I commend you for being some of the most optimistic souls I've ever seen and leaving your umbrellas in the car. Well, some of you, anyway. But marriage is indeed a sacred institution, the basis of human society and should be held in high honor among all men and women. And we have gathered here together in the presence of God to join Joshua and Tiffany in holy matrimony which is ordained of God, regulated by His commandments, and blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ. Before you met me, I was lost and looking for that someone to complete me. My best friend is getting married and I'm thinking that I'm never going to see him again. On that day, Cupid was flying around and launching his arrow into me, and there you were the most beautiful thing that I have ever seen. We danced that night away and talked the very next morning. From that moment on, I was yours. You opened my clouds and made the sun shine down on me. Everything became clear, and I decided you have to become my wife. With you in my life, you give me the strength to push and drive forward. You give me the joy with every time I'm with you and show me that what love is. So here I stand today and vow to you that I am yours. We together are one and that you, Tiffany, are the only thing that I want in my life. Joshua, from the moment you walked in my life, I knew you'd become a big part of it. However, I never imagined that on that rainy Valentine's Day evening, I would meet the man that I would spend the rest of my life with. You have taught me a lot over the past four years. You have taught me patience, loyalty, and what the true value of love really means. As we continue this next chapter in our lives together, I see it I see the importance of giving you my vows as a promise, not a privilege. To always be the one that you can lean on when things go for the worst and help you stand taller on your better days. I will cherish every second that I get with you. As I fell in love with you more every day, I'm so excited to see what the future has in store for us on this journey as husband and wife. I love you. By the authority committed unto me as a minister of the gospel, I now declare you husband and wife in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, according to the ordinances of God and the laws of the great state of Michigan. Joshua, you may kiss your bride. Allow me to be the first to introduce to you Joshua and Tiffany Curtis.